Oh, hi there everybody. Welcome to another episode of Carbs, the only show where we sit in a car and BS while consuming carbs. So today is going to be something that I've thought about doing for a while, but I put off for the longest time. I am going to be doing a review. I don't know if we're actually going to get a burger or not, uh, but we'll see what their, their very limited menu is. Um, but it is a burger joint that is attached to a car wash. Now maybe this is common where you live, uh, at least out here, it's the only one I've ever seen like this before. Like they're, they must be owned by the same business. It, it would be really, really weird if it was, wasn't owned by the same person, the same organization, whatever. Um, but the very simple menu, um, noticed it a million times driving by this and running by this. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see what they've got and uh, see if uh, maybe it'll make my car extra clean. I doubt it though. I don't, it's a burger. I don't think you should really wipe burgers on your car. Uh, another really crazy thing happened. Uh, a complex uh, a little ways down the street uh, burned down in my neighborhood. And uh, it was horrific. I mean, surreal. I feel bad for the people uh, immensely. But like, this thing started in one corner and took down the entire apartment complex in, Jesus, took it down in like 45 minutes, an hour? Just absolute devastation. And uh, I've never seen anything quite like it myself. It's incredible. It, I, cause like the upper part is what got hit the most. It's a two story apartment complex. The top part I thought just got wrecked. Like while I was watching it, I thought everything would be burned completely. When you're looking inside and it looks like at least something survived for those people. The big surprise though was like, it almost looks untouched on the bottom. So the fire did not get through uh, most of the, most of the, uh, God, oh, it's so depressing. The fire didn't get through most of the, um, down to the, the first uh, floor. Wow, sorry, it's surreal. I, I can't even imagine that. I bought a, uh, a fire box for my like super, super important things, so. Oh man, just absolute devastation. Ugh. Nope. All right, so uh, I went through. Yeah, I think I'll actually come back here and I'll try their breakfast because there's a there's a much more substantial uh, substantial breakfast menu uh, than the, their other menu. The, like the day menu is just burgers. That's it. They have burgers and they have fries and they have sodas. So I went with that. I got a double burger. Uh, online it says the place is called Easy Takeout Burger. Uh, which is actually a better name than what they have in person, which is Easy Burger and Grill. I like Easy Takeout Burger. I think they should invest in that. But this place is cheap as hell. You can get a combo with fries and a drink for $8. Uh, I got, I just got the burger and the fries and it ended up being $6. So this place is cheap. It's very, very cheap. And uh, that, I mean, that's that feels like that's their gimmick. I'm trying to get you in here. Wow, that's a regular order of fries too. Okay, this is gonna be a mess. <laughs> uh, there's just two ladies in there and they, it's kind of like uh, old school In-N-Out where they've got um, you know, windows on both sides so you can drive through whichever way. That arm in the wild, wild west, I don't know. But they, those ladies were busting their ass <laughs> in there. You could tell that they work really, really hard to keep that business up and running. Look at how much fries you get, Jesus. They stack you, man. They definitely have the uh, like the in and out style of working things in there, but uh, wow, good value so far. And hey, let's try a fry. Oh, not bad, not bad. It's it's nothing amazing, but I don't think I don't think that their gimmick is that they're relying on you thinking that they're amazing. That's just a solid, solid fry. You know, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what else you can say about it. Nothing incredible. It is a little greasy, but given the price point, especially out here in Southern California where everything basically costs you a lung, not bad in the slightest. Let's try the burger. Uh, I'll give the fries a. Yeah, I get them spilling. I'll give the fries just a solid uh, three out of five. It comes with uh, lettuce and tomato. So you know the rule. I'll take one bite with these items on there and then I get to remove them and do a proper review because I hate lettuce I hate tomato 
and uh, I want to give this place a proper review. I don't want to uh, have a biased reaction given the fact that I can't stand these items at all. Don't like them. That, look at that though, that's so cheap. The burger by itself uh, was like $4. <laughs> it was like $4 for the burger and, and it was uh, $2 for the fries. That is an unbelievable amount of food for $4. That, that is nuts. Oh God, it's gonna be so gross. Hey, follow us on Patreon. Back us on there if you want to get main shows and um, episodes early, as well as deleted content that was too hot for YouTube and our drinking challenges. Follow us on social media. Subscribe on YouTube. A lot of people that watch aren't subscribed. And hit the bell notification. Oh, God. I mean, in all honesty, it's not bad. It's good quality tomato. The lettuce is, you know, it's lettuce. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Not as bad as I as I anticipated, but still not as enjoyable for me. And uh, look at how <laughs> impressive it becomes once you take that out. All right. Oh man, that's really good. Legit, it feels like in and out, but like on a budget, like budget in and out. And that's not an insult. You're getting real, actually really delicious food, but you put so much cheese on this. Oh, that sauce is great. Mmm. Oh, it's really good. That is a delicious burger, especially given the price point, and you know, you're, you are saving a lot of money and getting a very tasty burger overall. I would argue that is very close to on par with In-N-Out. I'm gonna give that a very, very high four out of five, almost a low five. It is really good, and value-wise, I mean, I could even bump it up to a five, but I will stick with the four at this point. Uh, good stuff, you know, trying again. The little mom and pop oddities. Uh, now I have to walk around and take pictures of this place like a big old weirdo, because there's a bunch of people washing their cars. I was gonna do a bit where I rubbed the, the, like the burger on my car, and I was like, no, nah, that made it worse, and then I was gonna go wash my car. I don't wanna do that. <laughs> it would have been so funny, though. Just pretend like it happened, okay? Either way, thank you for watching. Make sure to support all of the local mom and pop places, especially uh, right now, they all need it. And uh, check this place out if you're ever in Upland, California. I think it's I think it's Upland, it might be Montclair, but I think it's Upland, California. Thank you so much, appreciate you guys immensely. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments down below, and we'll see you on the next one.